Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to get your KDE desktop environment to look like Windows 7 slash Aero theme. But the first thing I'd like to discuss here is a few things before we start. This is an updated guide so there is a previous video on how to do this. We'll be using the same git from the previous guide. The difference here is that the owner of the git has updated and fixed a few issues that were prevalent in the previous video. So if you've already followed the previous video then in the description below there will be timestamps that you can use to not waste your time. So without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the uh, Git. And this could be any format you want, but we're going to do the typical zip. So we're going to hit save file. And give it a second here, and here it is, it's finished downloading. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, extract it. We're going to put it straight in our downloads. And then here we go, we have it in our downloads. So you can delete the zip file if you want to. So first things first is we're going to start off with the Q, uh, Qt theme to get the arrow uh, application style. And where you want to go is you want to go to Qt and you want to go to application theme. And then as you can see here, what's different from the previous video is that we use Qt5 style plugins. Here we have is Convantum and uh, the QG, QGTK style. Um, I have a video on my channel. I'll plug it in the description on how to install Convantum, but we'll be installing uh, con the Convantum theme. And it'll be very simple. All we have to do is look up Convantum and then go to Convantum Manager. And then we're going to select our Convantum theme folder. We're going to go to our downloads. We're going to Aero Theme Plasma. Go to Qt and then go to Convantum, Windows 7 Convantum. OK. Install this thing. And I already have it, but all you have to do is install it. And then um, after that, you want to go to Change Shots Delete Theme. And then go to, I believe it is. Um, there you go, Windows 7 can Phantom. Click use this theme. So as you can think, see, things change to that. So we're going to go to our, our settings. And we're going to do our appearance. And we're going to go to application theme. As you can see, here we have this Convantum. And uh, we hit apply. And as you can see, things have adjusted to the Convantum style. But things are not quite over just yet. So the next step is to install the GTK2 theme, but the problem here is, is uh, the GNOME GTK application style requires GTK3, and this doesn't have GTK3, it only has GTK2, so what we're going to do is actually go to this link, well, it will be in the description below, and we're going to download uh, this person's um, file here. So. We're going to click the download link, then we're going to save file, and then we're going to go to our downloads over here. So here we have is the, the zip file, and I think that should be all we need. I'll need to go to our downloads, and then, okay, so it's not. What we're going to need to do is actually extract it, and then once we extract it, we're going to have to uh, compress it into a tar.gz, and then install from file, go back to our downloads, and then install it from there. And I'm pretty sure that should be it. It should have this uh, Windows 7.2, Windows 7-2.1, and that should be all you need. Because as you can see here, it has our GTK3. Though if you ask me, I recommend using Qt5 style plugins instead of Cavantum. Um, because uh, to me, I just experienced overall better unity this way. But uh, it's really up to you. Um, if you want to know how to install Qt5 style plugins, it's in the previous guide on how to make your uh, how to make KDE look like Windows 7. Though here is a uh, heads up with using Qt5 style plugins. If you update your computer via Pacman-SYU, then you will run into a problem when you restart your computer. The problem is, is when you update your system, Qt5 style plugins essentially will not update with the system update. So what you would have to do is once you're in the login screen is to press Control alt f2 and then once you're in the terminal, you must get clone the Qt5 style plugins arch repository again and then rebuild it. But after rebuilding it, you're, uh, you reboot your computer and then you should be able to get past the login screen. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, on the Manjaro subreddit uh, for KDE, I posted a whole problem about this, and then I posted my fix slash solution. So if you want to read about that more, uh, link is in the description below. All right, so the next thing to do is to install the icons and cursors. So we're going to go to our icons, and 
you're going to go to this directory here, root, uh, or sorry, forward slash user, forward slash share, forward slash icons, forward slash. And you're going to, if you haven't already, you're going to need the admin privileges. And how this works is you're going to copy the directory, type in chown, uh, and then fill, and then forward space, and then paste that in so you have ownership that you can copy and paste files into this. So now that we did that, and by the way, when I said fill, I meant whatever your username is on your computer. And then you can copy the icons over here. And then once it finishes copying, we can go to uh, icons. And then here we have is Windows icons, and you click apply. And that should apply uh, the icons to our computer. And the next thing to do as well is we're going to copy and paste the cursor. So you can see arrow cursors. We're going to copy this and put this in the same place as our icons. Then we're going to our settings. And if we reopen up cursors, it should be here, arrow dash drop. I already have it from a different source, but you can use this and then hit apply. And then you should have it. You might have to restart your computer if you wanted to take full effect on your programs, but there you go. You have that. So the next thing we're going to do is install the window manager. So you're going to go to Kwin, and you're going to go to bin, and you're going to copy and paste, and you're going to go, well, first of all, you're going to go to this directory, user lib qt plugins org dot kd dot kd data declaration 2. You're going to copy that, and you're going to open up the a console in that directory, and you're going to change the ownership of that to your you, and then once you do that, you're going to go back to bin, and then you're going to copy this and paste it in here. I already had this in there beforehand, so I'm going to click overwrite. And once that's done, we can move on to our next step, which is to go back to Kwin and then enable hidden view. And we're going to copy this dot emerald. And we're going to go home, and we're going to paste in the dot emerald into our home. Now we're going to go to our system settings and uh, wait for it to load. Then go to appearance and then go to window decorations and we're going to scroll down and you should see smarag uh, it will be pink we're just going to click apply we'll fix this later don't worry so now we have this it's uh, pink looking so that's good our next step is so next thing we're going to do is we're going to install our application themes I'm sorry our plasma style uh, we're going to go to plasma and then we're going to go to pl uh, KD plasma theme and you're going to see here we have uh, seven black we're going to copy this and then we're going to go to our dot local that's located in our home we're going to go to share and then we're going to go plasma and then we're going to go to uh, desktop theme and we're going to paste it in there i already have it there so i'm just going to click right into and then overwrite um, and then we're going to go to our plasma style and then we're going to scroll down until we see seven black and then we click apply uh, it should also be pink. Don't worry about that. So after installing our theme, we're going to go to Arrow Color Mixer, and this is where it gets fun. We're going to go do our build, and we're going to go Arrow Color Mixer, the application. You can also um, run the program by opening up the console, the directory, and by you know putting the command I put in. However, if you get a error or something stuck talking about how your libc is out of date, all you have to do is uh, update your computer by, you know, pacman-syu, and then um, let the update run restart your computer, and then you should be able to have an updated libc to the standards for air color mixer. And this is where we choose our colors. So you can click uh, apply. So I'm going to change this to blue. And give it a second here. And now we have a little bit of screen glitching errors. You might get that for the few, first few seconds, but it should be all right in the end. Um, so you got to change your colors and what's not to what you want. Uh, you can get show color mixer, and then you can really customize the uh, you know the look of your theme here. All right, so now let's move on to uh, widgets. Uh, so we're going to go to Plasma, and then we're going to go to Plasma Widgets, and we're going to go to User, and we're going to start off with the Start menu. So as you can see here, we have seven starts. So I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go to uh, our Home, then our dot .local, Share, Plasma, and Plasmoids, and then I'm going to paste in here. I already have seven starts, so I'm just going to click right into, and then Overwrite. So it should be updated. And then uh, we're going to add this to our thing. So I'm going to remove my old seven start. I'm going to add a new widget called seven start and then we're going to put that in there and it should be blank but if we press um, our windows key it should appear and pop up here and all we have to do is to right click and then configure seven start right click in the empty box by the way and then we should have this little box um, if you remember for the previous video, we had to do a little bug fixing, but now all that is done for us. Uh, we're going to go to 
we can play around with this, but we're going to play with the icon. So uh, we're going to put for the icon, we're going to choose uh, the normal. We're going to go to browse, and then we're going to go paste that in there, and we're going to put in for these icon all these icons. Uh, though here is a little bit of a forewarning, though. Um, you're going to need to have a see. Okay, now if we go down here, everything's all a okay. But the warning here is that if you were to delete these, um, then the whole icon thingy down here would not show up. You have to, uh, or if you have to put them in one place and keep them in one place, um, if you don't want to bother having to constantly change the icons. So that's a little bit of a warning. So the next thing we're going to do is show desktop. So we're going to go open up the folder and we're going to see this and we're going to copy it and we're going to go back to our plasmoids folder and we're going to paste it in there. I already have it existing so I'm just going to overwrite things. Alright, so now if we uh, go over here, go to add widgets and I'm just going, I'm sorry, I'm going to enter edit mode, my bad. I'm going to remove my old one here. I'm going to add uh, show desktop and then I'm going to drag it over to my corner. And then here it is. Uh, it might be a little small, but we're gonna there you go. Configure it. And then here we go. So now we can edit the look of it. Um, I believe the size is around 10 or 11 pixels or something. You should see all the ch uh, change in real time. Uh, I think it's 13. Give me a second. Uh, I think we're just gonna change it to 10, and call it a wrap there. That looks good. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is date and time. So we're going to open up the folder and we're going to copy the digital clock thing here, digital clock light, and we're going to paste it into here. Then we're going to enter edit mode and then we're going to add widgets and then we're going to type in digital clock light and then we're going to drag it down to where our clock is. And then there you go. So it kind of looks like it. So we're just going to remove our, uh, our old clock here, our old digital clock. And then we're going to... Um, configure digital clock light and then here you go so now we can uh, play around the settings I'm gonna let you guys do that so before we do that we're going to do a few things we're going to uh, go to our font style and we're going to select the Segoy font um, where is it there you go Segoy UI and then uh, font size it's going to be 9 and then we click apply and then there you go might look a little small so feel free to change it if you want to but that's what the uh, creator of the git said to change it to and finally last little note if you click on it it kind of shows a little windows 7 calendar anyways and the next thing we're we'll doing is installing the task manager slash taskbar so we're going to go over to task icons and then we're going to grab or we're going to copy our plasma 7 task and we're going to plasma going back to our plasmoids we're going to paste it in there i already had it there prior but we're going to overwrite everything and then after that we're going to go to inside of bin here and then we're going to copy plasma applet 7 task.so and then we're going to go to this uh directory uh user lib qt plugins plasma applets and then we're going to paste it in here once again i already had it in there so i'm going to overwrite it and then now if we go down here to our uh, enter edit mode, go to add widgets and we open up seven tasks and we should be able to put that in there. And then, sorry, if you do get an error, just restart your computer and then um, it should it should work. As you can see here, I have, se I have seven tasks and uh, that's pretty much it. So we can remove our old task manager, our icons only task manager. And then um, as you can see, it has little uh, reactive thingy if we open up more than one f file thingy or, or uh, program it'll do the little stack so there you go we have installed feel free to configure it play around with it so for our next step our next widgets would be um, in system and these will be overriding things that are already installed on your system so to me this could be a little risky but it's up to you. I'll show you how to, but I'm not going to actually do it myself. Um, so to do to the tool tips, you're going to know about tool tips and you're going to go to this directory, user lib, QT, QML, or KDE plasma core private. You're going to open that and you're going to open up a console in that um, and you're going to change the ownership to you. So I'm sorry, I'm going to have sudo. 
but you're going to change the ownership to you so you can copy and paste things and then you're going to open up tooltips and then drag that over to the uh, tool you just change ownership to and then the next thing is is desktop icons and keyboard switcher and system tray all those org.kdplasma.private all those go into this directory user share plasma plasmoids and uh, same process if you don't have user rights over it you can type in sudo change ownership and then type in your username and then paste in the directory and then you do the password and then you should be able to copy and paste things you just copy paste every single thing in these three into here and then overwrite um, you can do it I'm not but um, that's how you can all right the nice thing to do is to install the color scheme and it's rather simple um, you go to your system settings and then we're going to go to a appearance and then we're going to go to colors we're going to hit install from file and then we're going to copy and copy the directory location of the colors and then install it right there and then click apply and then it should apply to all our programs so next thing will be sounds so we're going to go to plasma and we're going to go to sounds and they're going to open up our system settings and then we're going to look up notifications and then after that we're going to go to configure and then we're going to look up workspace and then configure events and then you'll have this list and uh, I'll display on the screen the um, the, the things you can link up with it shows the directory it, it shows the name like right here is warning that will go to stereo sounds and then uh, Windows D I'm sorry um, dialog warning you can pair that stuff up with this um, but alternatively you can do what you want you can just replace the sounds with whatever you want I know on Windows 7 there's different sound packs or whatever that was on the original Windows 7 you can obviously replace those with these here um, those be under different names then for uh, power management you want to look up power management um, and then you're going to configure the events and then you can let's see so right here um, I'll just have it list on the screen once again the things that you uh, replace the, the title with the uh, location of the audio now the next thing to configure is wine so we're gonna go uh, into our console type in wine CFG press enter and it should be launching all right your, my, your wine might look a little different, but um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go to desktop integration. And then, as you can see here, I have different themes. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go over here to wine in our folder and then go to Visage Ultimate. So you see how we have that there. So we're going to click install theme. And here's what's going to get a little tricky. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, my computer and then you're going to go find whatever document. It's, it's easier if you do this, sorry. Um, we're going to take this theme right here. We're going to uh, cop it, co cut it and then paste it here in our documents. Then we're going to go to documents. And then here you go. Vista G Ultimate MS Styles. Click open. And then give it a second. And then it should be here in, in theme. You go to Vista VG. And then um, I don't think it really matters, but um, this should be it. So we're going to click apply. It might matter. <laughs> I don't know, but that is the the style that you need, the Vista VG, and then that should be it. And that would be all. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I thank you to the creator for creating this uh, Git pack. And then uh, I thank you for including me in the install guide. It really humbles my heart, and I thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. Um, I'm really glad that I'm able to help people out that much and uh, may you guys have a blessed day.